The inner pocket needs to be attached to the lining before the lining can be assembled. Place the lining right side up on the cutting table. The corners, placement line, and middle should be marked with red tracing. The stitch lines should not be visible from the right side. Place the inner pocket right side up on top. Find the notch that matches the center of the bottom edge and mark it with a pin so you can see it from the right side. With the seam allowance pressed under, match the center of the inner pocket with the center notch marked on the lining. The folded edge should match up with the placement line. Pin the pocket in place. Next, match the top corner of each side of the pockets with the notches marking the top corner of the placement. Pin in place, both horizontally and vertically. After the middle and corners of the pocket are pinned in place, begin pinning the rest of the pocket. Start from the center and work towards the top. Gently pull the pocket so that the folded edge meets the placement line. The pocket should fit flat against the lining. If you find that the pocket seems too long or too short, take out some of the pins and begin pinning in the opposite direction, gently pulling or pushing the fabric in the direction you need. Usually this will ease the fabric into place. When the pocket is pinned in place, you are ready to top stitch around the edge. Set the sewing machine stitch width to zero and stitch length to three. Place the fabric underneath the presser foot, lining up the top edge of the pocket with the needle. The inner edge of the presser foot should line up with the folded edge of the pocket. Place the presser foot down, hold the beginning threads, and stitch two or three stitches. Backstitch two or three stitches and then continue to sew forward. Use the inner edge of the presser foot as a guide to sew about a sixteenth of an inch in from the edge of the inner pocket. Continue stitching until you reach the other top edge of the inner pocket.
The bag lining is a fairly large piece of fabric and you are sewing towards the middle. So it is easy for the edges of the lining to get caught up and stitched underneath. Occasionally check to be sure that the edges of the fabric are not caught underneath. When you reach the top edge of the pocket, backstitch two or three stitches, stitch forward to the edge, make sure your needle is in the upright position, and remove the work. Cut your threads close to the work at the beginning and end. The inner pocket is now attached and you are ready to move on to attaching the outer pocket.